how do we hold leaders to keep their promise? And therein lies whether we make progress or we mark time on the same spot or actually regress. Our word must amount to something. Our commitments must amount to something. Our pronouncements must amount to something. And for us to um, actualize our, our commitments and our statements and our pronouncements, it takes decisive action. Some of the actions that we have to take are not necessarily popular sometimes. If we have to get where we're going, they are not necessarily uh, sometimes convenient. And they come with huge responsibility and huge cost. My position is that as a continent, to be able to put the people and their aspirations at the center, we must allow the people to make decisions. Elections must count for something. We must stop the manipulation of elections. We must stop the manipulation of our democracy. The people must have the final say. And when the people speak, we must respect their voice. It is the only way we can hold leaders to account. So that when we go to an election, leaders make commitments. If they don't make, if you don't measure up to those commitments, the people must have a say and kick them out. And we must get away from the impunity of leaders that do not respect the voices of people. We must not allow our continent to slide back into military dictatorships because we have failed to listen to the people. We must never allow that to happen. And we must work together as the people of our continent and globally to make sure that we lay a firm foundation where the people's voice counts and makes a difference. So I quite agree with you that leaders must be held to account. For example, in Kenya, there are commitments that I made as president. I said, for example, that we're going to bring down the cost of fertilizer for us to stimulate production. My good brother here at the Sina gave us $67 million to assist our farmers bring down the cost of fertilizer, working with others, including the World Bank, and we managed to bring down the cost of fertilizer from about 7,000 shillings a bag to 2,500. That's a commitment I made, and that's a commitment I have delivered, because I realized that that is a commitment I made to the people of Kenya. And it speaks to what is it, how do we hold leaders to account? And I agree with you, and I want to say without fear of any contradiction or equivocation that we must, as leaders, live up to our commitments and we must respect the people's voice.